This is an AMPA fire timer, fire alarm panel. Normally we call it a fire indicating panel. So when you open the door, that light come up. That's for the auxiliary isolation. So whatever auxiliary in the building like magnet door holders, gas strip, mechanical car park exhaust pan trip automatically isolates. All right. This was the old occupant warning system, so it's not used. I changed that to a modern one, that one, because the old one was already defective. Okay, so before we do any testing, we press the system test to provide them with a warning. This is a fire alarm test. This is a fire alarm test. This is a fire alarm test. Right. Then we going to isolate that external bell, which is the fire brigade strobe located outside the building, and the warning system isolate and the auxiliary is already isolated. Okay. This time we're going to press menu, and there are some selections. So if you put if you press number five, which is test. Five. And then what do you want to do? I, I want an alarm test. Okay, since this is a detector that is per zone, that means it's a conventional type of detector. The fire panel can be conventional or addressable, but this time it is conventional fire panel. So zone, we pick zero. Then what zone? So you can choose whatever you want, let's say 9. I choose 9. And then just the select zone number and then press enter. Press enter. Then the alarm test is now ongoing. And then there's the alarm light. You hear no noise at the moment, all right? And then normally it make a noise. But I, it's already a silence right now. I silenced it earlier. Sorry about that. So if we de-isolate that, the strobe light outside will be blinking. All right. Before it was a fire alarm bell. Now it's a strobe light. I changed that, changed it just recently. And then the warning system. If I de-isolate that, this is what will happen. So I de isolate the warning system. Then put it back. So that will clear. So the noise is gone. Alright. And then if I press that button, that car park exhaust pan and the car park exhaust pan 2 will activate. So I don't need to press that button. I have to press this one. And that will clear. The auxiliary alarm go off. And the fans begins to run. Alright. The LSF is also stopping. That is the lobby supply fan. So the car park exhaust pan 1 and the car park exhaust pan 2 activates and the lobby supply fan stops. Alright, I can hear it from here. Alright, and then we are going to reset that alarm. Reset, by so pressing that button, reset. And that will clear. The auxiliary alarm is also clear. But one thing you notice is the car park exhaust pan is still running. So you have to press that button. Hold for five seconds, the plan trip reset. I will hold that. So I'm pressing it and then I for five seconds and the fan will stop and the lobby supply fan will run. Right? Because the auxiliary must have its own reset button 
and independent of the fire indicating panel. So we put everything to normal and then that's normal, all's done. You can also press that to talk if you want, all right? Press that button and then you use the microphone to talk. So that's how we test monthly the fire indicating panel for Ampac Firefighter. Now I have completed my testing. So we fill up the logbook and everything is done. But since this is a local fire alarm system, what I'm going to do now is to install a sticker. Local fire system in case of emergency, ring triple zero. This one, the fire panel not connected to the fire brigade called triple zero, is not compliant anymore. This one is compliant, so we're going to put a sticker later on there. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and support this channel. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.